Hey everyone, this is Joe Tech from JoeTech.com and today I want to talk about a site called Quirky. Um, this is a website where you can submit invention ideas um, and the community votes on them and the ones that get voted in and make the cut, they actually get produced and then once they're produced uh, they turn into products like this. This is the Arc Pillow or like a couple of other products that I'm going to show you today. Um, today I got a package that I did not expect from Quirky. So I knew it was them right away. They have very unique packaging and they even have the, uh, the purple color throughout on the inside. So I'll show you what they gave me. Um, I got a, a message from Ben. He's the CEO, Ben Kaufman. It says, Joe, oh my god, you rock. That's funny. Um, Quirky's that kind of company. They're just fun. They, they even have purple on the back here. Um, it's just a fun company. Uh, ben actually started out with, uh, uh, I believe he started Mophie, which uh, I've reviewed their products before as well. So also in this package, I got, and I, I already dug in and threw the boxes away because I got so excited. I got uh, Cordy's, which keeps all your cords on the table. And I'm going to show you how that works. Um, and that's the actual Cordy's right there. Looks small. Looks it, it looks like it, you know, it doesn't look like a lot, but it's actually got a good weight to it. Uh, moving along, I also got Rapster. Um, now, if you got uh, an e-reader, an electronic book reader, recently, you may have gotten one of these with it. Uh, some universities got these for free with the readers, so that was kind of cool. About 80,000 of them went out. Um, so anyway... Got one of those, and what that does is that takes this tangled mess of headphones and wraps it up around that and keeps it organized. So I'll show you that in a second as well. And then I got, hi, I'm Joe, for those of you who haven't seen me yet. Um, I got this shirt. It says, I make invention accessible. So um, really cool shirt. I saw the design for them, and I, I wanted one when I first saw them. I did not expect to get one in the mail today, so it was kind of cool. Uh, so let me show you Cordy's first. I'm going to show you first what it's like without Cordy's. This is what I plug my iPhone into. Okay, Standard iPhone cable or iPod. Um, so it sits there. Mine's just kind of sitting on the desk. If I had the full cord down, I have it sitting on the end there. Uh, it would fall down. And, and it does that a lot. It'll fall off. Then you have to go digging behind your desk. You notice I have these kind of half under my phone over here. So I plug in a lot of devices. And, you know, if you have any... Oh, see, that already fell. If you have any amount of weight on it, it just goes right to the ground. So we're going to show you what it's like with Cordy's. That's life without Cordy's. Here's Cordy's. You just have a, a few grooves. You put your cord right in there. I'm going to show you I can do it with one hand. Oops. Bam, it's in there. Snaps right in, stays, so it's not coming out. And there's weight, and I'm going to show you something. Remember I had my, uh, my Joby Gorilla Pod attached? I'll show you. It's hanging. It's just hanging there. I'll let it drop. Guess what's still on top of my desk? So that's what it is. Simple idea, and that, that's what Quirky is. They, you know, someone said, I think this should be invented. They threw it out there, people voted, it got invented, and now it's on my desk and I'm using it. Um, let me show you what else this has. On the bottom here, this has two little holes. Um, and I, I can't, I don't know if you can tell here, but these are grooved for screws. So you can actually, if you had a wooden desk, won't work on my glass one. If you had a wooden desk, you could just screw this right in. So it's permanent. You could yank on that all you want and it won't move. So anyway, that's Cordy's. Pretty cool. Um, I know I'm definitely going to make use of that. I'm getting rid of uh, that tangle right there. I'm going to straighten that up. And then the other thing here is Rapster. Now, Rapster is um, basically for people who have headphones that get all tangled up. Here's mine. I just untangled them so I could do the video a little faster. But I keep them on my desk and I throw them around and they get tangled and they're probably tangled already again. So I'm going to show you um, 
I, I need both hands to do this, so I'm going to set the camera down. I'll show you underneath my desk here. This is Rapster. Sorry about the lighting. Kind of having to go under my desk to show you how this works. And this is my headphones. So I'll just get these untangled a little bit real quick for you. All right. And now Rapster has these little grooves and a center channel. And there's another groove on that side. So what you do is you take your headphones, you put them in the middle here. And then you just insert one side into one groove over here. Easy. And then you put the other side into the other groove. You might have to give it a little push in there. And then it's designed to keep them in place. So, when you're not using them, you just wrap it up. No more tangling. Every time I want to listen to my music, I have to untangle my dang headphones. That won't happen anymore. And I like to tuck it under right there. If you'll see what I did here. I just tuck that right under and give it a little tug so it stays firm. And I can shake that up. It's not going anywhere. So, pretty cool. And when you're done, you, you throw that in your pocket. You take it with you to work. You get to work, you want to listen to your headphones. You just unwrap this. So I'm moving a little quick here. And you pull the headphones out like that. Leave this attached. Just let it drop. It'll drop down to the bottom here. Mine's stuck a little. It'll drop, and then you put the headphones on, and that sits by your neckline, and that's it. Um, so that's pretty cool. The other feature of this, if you take the headphones out, the way this is supposed to work is you set your iPhone into the groove here, and it works as a little stand because of the way that groove is shaped. Um, now, I will say with the iPhone 4, it did not really work for me very well. Only really worked if I was standing it straight up. So um, I did see other videos where it did work better, but for me, I didn't have as, as much luck. So um, that in mind, though, uh, its key purpose, the reason it was invented, I was there when the process started, was to untangle headphones. And it does that very well, and it's like... Five or six dollars. I think it's. It might be six ninety nine on the website. I'll I'll put links uh, in the uh, blog post and under the video. So that's pretty much it. Um, those are the things that they sent me, and then of course this shirt. And I'll just talk for uh, just a minute here on how the website works. So you have the website and you have some options up here. You can go one of two routes to make some money on Quirky. You can influence which is, you know, pitching in on other people's ideas. I want to choose what the next product is. I want to choose the next iPad 2 accessory. So you click there and you can look through all the ideas. Here's, you know, some ideas. You just scroll through them and you rate them and you vote for the ones you like. Um, you earn a little bit of influence that way. The other option here is to invent. So you go to invent and you can submit your own idea, and there's a couple of ways to do it. One's free, one costs a couple bucks, but either way, if your idea is chosen when you invent, you stand to make a lot more money. Um, and there's there are some people who have made some good money. Um, as you can see here, uh, we have uh, Michael McCoy. He's made over $37,000 um, with a, a device that he invented for the uh, original iPad. So, really cool. Um, and then, of course, you know, it, it's shopping. Look, there's Cordy's right there. Um, you can buy any of these products. I have influenced probably over half of these products. So if you buy one, I'm probably going to make a couple cents on it. So that's pretty much it. Um, Quirky.com, spelled just like the word quirky, Q-U-I-R-K-Y. Sorry, forgot how to spell it for a second there. Um, Go check them out, and of course, I'm going to be putting the, uh, the full blog post with some photos and some more information on www.joetech.com.